UKTruckers.uk. Now, before I start this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and give our website a little browse when you get a moment. So today we're going to be talking about the Working Time Directive. And I often get asked, Paul, how do you manage to do six days a week every single week? And the basic gist of it is, is understanding the Working Time Directive. Now, I do appreciate not every aspect of haulage is the same. It can be so various, it is ridiculous. But in construction, our jobs tend to be very early. We don't have to wait on tip times. We only sort of haul our own stuff. Uh, there's always guys on site. It just speeds up the whole process. So at the end of the week, when we've got a bit of spare time left on drive time, working time, etc., it allows us to do the Saturday shift if we want to do it. Now, we always aim for the 45-hour break. It is not always possible. That's why we, sort of, we can go back to the 24 hours every two weeks. And if it falls on that week when we need a 45, we are in the position in this in this game where we can late start on a Monday. So it's always feasible to stay the right side of the law. So here is the information that you need to know. What they like you to aim for is a 48-hour working week, which you can extend to 60 hours, but no more than 90 over the two weeks. And how they do this is on a 17-week average. So you need to be aiming for that 48 hours over the 17 weeks. So you might get a long one, but you might get an early one on a Friday, for example. Now, if you're a little bit old school like myself and a bit of a technophobe, you can just jot this down in a, a notepad or whatever, and you can work out how much time you've got left at the end of the week. You can also use your taco, all the information's on there, and a lot of the newer trucks now, it will display on the dash in one way or another how much you've got left on your two weekly, etc., etc. So, just make sure you know what you're doing. Don't be caught out by a company that wants to sort of push your hours all through the week because coming on the second week, that is going to be when you're running tight. If you get a pull by Vosa, the side of the road, a spot check, you can easily be over your hours. So just bear the working time directive in mind. It's not taken as harshly as a driving time infringement, the working time one. Uh, but you do need, if you want to keep all your records, absolutely 100%. Bear it in mind. Know what you're doing. Stay safe. Keep it lit.